super hot right now it takes forever a little rebellious so that was extra annoying hey guys so today i wanted to talk about how i take care of my bleached and dyed hair i know it doesn't look like i've bleached or dyed my hair right now but if you watch my past video from the end of last year you will see that i actually had very blonde and bleached two-toned hair so i didn't do anything to the upper half but then i bleached the bottom hidden layer of the hair and it was just something that I wanted to do before starting med school. Before that, I've never had my hair dyed or bleached professionally. I've only dyed my hair with those DIY kits when I was in high school and a little rebellious. So before like actually starting my professional life, I wanted to do something a little out of the box and something that I've never tried before. So I bleached my hair and it was actually a hassle to keep up. My hairdresser recommended me some purple shampoos that I'm going to show you guys. It took so long to dry my hair compared to my usual hair and I have a lot of hair. So that was extra annoying. I was really happy with the results for a couple months and then I got a little bored of it. <laughs> But then I also didn't want to have to upkeep the bleaching and keep doing the dyes. So I decided to dye it to a blue color. That lasted for two weeks. It was during when I had shows and everything. So it was like the perfect time to go back into a darker color. It's a great transition. I didn't want to dye it black, but also have a little bit of color that you can only see in the sunlight. So I really like that color, but that faded. I'm still using purple shampoo and it turned into this dark ashy brown which I actually really like I like how it doesn't show normally like you can't really see it now but under sunlight you can see a little difference but that's the history with my hair so I just wanted to show you guys some products I use to wash my hair upkeep the bleaching keep it moisturized and not get split ends so of course first I shampoo and condition my hair I've been loving the function of beauty shampoo and conditioners pretty sure a lot of you have seen them on Instagram a lot of ads online they've been around for I think a few years. It wasn't until my friend really recommended it that I actually tried it. I have the eucalyptus scent and you can customize your shampoo and conditioner which I think customization is super hot right now and it actually did do a lot better than any of the drugstore shampoo and conditioner combos that I've used. Love the eucalyptus scent that I chose. Yeah, I've been loving it. What I do is I lather up with two pumps of the shampoo for the first rinse and then I go over it with another pump of the shampoo. That's actually what they recommended is to go over your shampoo twice. And as you can see, the second time around, it lathers up super well because that's when you know your hair is clean. After I've cleaned my hair with a shampoo, I use a purple shampoo. So these are the purple shampoos that my hairdresser recommended. He was adamant about me getting the right brands. This is the Lacme Technia White Silver Shampoo. This I used when my hair was a bleached blonde color. It really helps to get rid of the yellowish brassiness that your hair can get, um, especially with my Asian hair. You don't need to use gloves with this, but the next one I've been using right now, you have to use gloves because it will stain your hands and your skin. This is the Color Brightening Shampoo in Silver. They have a lot of different colors and a different toning shampoos, but this one gives a slight silver tone to your hair on top of it, um, getting rid of the brassiness. For both of these purple shampoos, I put it on for about three to five minutes and then rinse off. This one also feels like it has a slight conditioning effect so I really like it. Other than my regular Function of Beauty conditioner, I also use this Pantene 3 Minute Miracle Color and Perm. So this I just put a huge glob and apply it to my hair from the ear down and then leave it on for three minutes. It helps soften, it helps condition, moisturizes. My hair just feels so soft and detangled after using this. I think this is a great drugstore product you can find. After all of that, I dry my hair as much as possible. As I said, it takes forever for me to blow dry. I use the Cream 230 Restorative and Thermal Protective Action by Hair Ritual Sisley Paris. My mom actually got this for me and I didn't expect 
too too much even though it's Sisley and I probably wouldn't have gotten it myself because it is expensive but then I absolutely love it I use it after towel drying and before blow drying my hair it just is a great treatment for your damaged and dry hair it acts as a leave-in conditioner and it smells pretty good so I'm almost done with this entire bottle it is on the expensive side because it is Sisley but it did my hair well especially with the bleaching and the dryness I usually don't style my hair that much I only blow dry it and brush it out and that's it if I do style it I use my Dyson Airwrap but regardless in the end I finish off with the Mise en Scene Perfect Serum this one is in rose um, I've been loving their serums for a really long time I think they're a great drugstore brand but also they smell good um, doesn't feel sticky on the hair it just adds a lot more shine so if you're looking for a hair oil that's on the cheaper side I would recommend this alright so that's it with my hair care I don't do too too much to it um, I don't like products weighing down my hair but this is the minimum that I do to keep my hair staying healthy without split ends detangling and whatnot I hope this was helpful and see you next time Bye!